Baked beans, baked beans. Saucy baked beans. With a coating of cheese. You can buy them in a tin any day of the week. From your local supermarket on your high street, high street. Beans in the morning and beans in the night. They're really super duper when you're cooking them right. Hello everybody, hello, hello children. Welcome to this online hello. field trip. I'm Sam and today we're in Naples. We're at a factory where we're surrounded by the most gorgeous scenery. We have mountains on one side, we have a volcano on the other. It really, really is stunning. And we're here to learn all about one of our favorite tea time foods. Now, when you think of this food, um, Italy isn't really the, uh, the first place that springs to mind, but here in the factory is where they make Tesco baked beans. They make the delicious tomato sauce here, something that the Italians are absolutely amazing at, and the beans themselves come all the way from America, which is where baked beans were made or invented. So this is Rosa. Rosa's our guide for today. Hello. Thank you so much for having us here at the factory. Rosa is in charge of the baked bean factory and she's an expert. So how long have you been making baked beans for, Rosa? This factory has been founded by my parents in 1954 and we started to produce baked beans in 1984. So it's now 30 years that we produce baked beans. So 30 years making baked beans and 60 years the factory's yes, been here. Yes. I'm guessing it was quite a small factory at first. Yes, and you the just beginning get... was small and then grew up. It's a really big factory now. And um, how many cans of baked beans would you make here in a day? One million cans per day. One million cans yes. per day? Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. One million cans. And where would they come to? Would they come to the UK or would they go most, elsewhere? Most part of them come to the UK, but we also export to Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, all over the world. Fantastic. That's great. OK, then. Well, I think you're an expert at baked beans. I think Rosa's a perfect person to guide us on this online field trip. What are we going to see today, Rosa, here? We are going to see how Make the beans are produced in our factory. Fantastic. So we're going to see everything from the beans arriving. Yes. To, we're going to get inside the factory, aren't we? And we're sure. going to see how sure. all the machines work. Yes. And also we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the other beans and the ingredients as well. Are you going to be telling us your secret recipe, are you? Uh, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. OK, let's find out who we have taking part on today's online field trip. Let's go to our schools. Let's go to Moorside Primary School, first of all, where Miss Cohen's class is taking part. Hello, Moorside. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. They're all the way over in Manchester. A big hello from uh, Naples. Let's go over to Charlton Manor School now, where Miss P's class is taking part. They're all the way in London. Hi. Hello, Charlton Manor. Hello, children. Thank you so much for taking part. Let's go over to Ben Weaver's primary school now, where Miss Ross's class is taking part. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello children. Hello. <laughs> Lots of exciting little children there. And let's go over to Howdell Primary School, where Miss Stone's class is taking part. Hello, everybody. Hello. A massive hello from Naples. Thank you so much for taking part. And now we are massive fans in the UK of baked beans. Um, we eat, if I'm right, Rosa, 1.7 million cans a day. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? Yes. That's right. It's healthy. It's it really is healthy. Um, and I learned as well something this week. I learned that the, the, the beans in here don't come from the UK. They don't even come from Italy, in fact, do they, Rosa? Yes. They come from America. Why is that, Rosa? Because in the United States, uh, there are huge fields where there is the right climate, the right weather to grow the beans. It, do they have to have warm for the beans, is yes. it? Yes. Oh, yes. The weather is uh, very good yeah. for the beans. It'd be no good in the UK. We have a lot of rain <laughs> and a lot of gold. A lot of gold. I also learned as well that um, the bean plant, the haricot beans, which is what baked beans are made of, the bean plant, you, when you think of bean plants, you think of the beanstalk, a big beanstalk you can possibly climb up in fairy tales. Um, but it's quite small, isn't it, yes. the plant? It's a plant like this. It's rather small and uh, 
the pod. You can open the pod. There are the beans inside. In every beans, there is everything it's needed to grow a plant. Fantastic. They, they start off so small. Yeah, yes. If you put them in the ground, they start to grow up. And after 90 days, they are ready to be harvested. Great. So you can actually see the, the bean there, can't you? The, yes. the colored bean and that's all come out of the bean yes. and, and planted roots, I guess. Yes. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you, Rosa. We are learning so much about um, beans already. Um, did you know, though, I've got some facts here, Rosa. I've been learning a lot. Uh, just three heat tablespoons um, acts as one of your five a day. So, you know, baked beans are very, very good for you. They've got protein in as well, which is good for your bones and for your muscles. And if you choose this variety, which is reduced sugar and salt, they're even better for you. So something to bear in mind there. Now, I know a lot of you have been learning in your schools already about baked beans. So I think I should put you to the test and find out what you already have learned before we continue. So let's go over to uh, Moorside Primary School to Miss Cohen's class to see what you've learned. My name is Gracie and I know that beans come from a plant. Thank you so much, Gracie. So Gracie has said that beans come from a plant, Rosa. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, fantastic. Let's go back over to yes. Moorside for another fact. My name is George and I know that beans are one of your five a day. Oh, that's a great fact, George. So George knows that beans are one of his five a day of the yes. pieces of fruit and vegetable you should have in your Very diet. Good, George. Very good. OK, let's get one more fact from more side. My name is Lily and I know that the tradition of making baked beans begin with Native Americans. That's a really great fact. So the tradition of making beans comes from Native America. Yes. Great, they have learned a lot already, <laughs> haven't they? Well done, Moorside Primary School. That's some great learning that you've done this week already. Let's go to Charlton Manor School now. Let's find out what Miss Pease's class has learned. My name is Rosie, and the fact that I learned is that there are a whopping 2.3 million people who eat the size every day. However, Ireland eats the most. Wow, that's an amazing fact. So there's a whopping two, two to three million people in England and Ireland that eat beans every day. Yes. <laughs> we, yes. are, we are big fans of beans, <laughs> aren't we, Rosa? OK, let's go to Charlton Manor for another one. Great fact. My name is Eastland, and my fact is that the world record for eating six pounds of baked beans is one minute and 48 seconds. One minute, 48 seconds. Oh, one minute, 48 seconds. Could you do that, Rosa? No, no, I no, no, no. I don't think I could as well. That's a really great fact. Are you impressed with all those facts the children yes. already know? It's very, very good indeed. OK, time to learn some more about beans now, children. This is our first video, and this is all about how beans grow. Watch really carefully, because there's an opportunity to ask Rosa some questions. And then straight after this, we're inside the factory to see the machines at work. Enjoy. How do beans grow? A bean is the seed of the bean plant. Each bean has everything it needs inside it to grow a new plant. The bean has an outer coating that protects it, but there's a small hole in the coating, called a micropile, to let water in so the seed can start growing. Inside the bean, there's a baby plant ready to grow. This is called the embryo. There's also a store of food called cotyledon, which the new plant will use to develop into an adult plant. The beans used to make baked beans are called haricot beans. They are part of the common bean family. Haricots don't grow on a giant beanstalk like in fairy tales. They grow close to the ground. The best quality beans for baked beans come from Michigan, in the United States of America. The farmer plants the beans in springtime, in the month of May, which is when the soil is nice and warm 
because this is how the bean plants like it. After two weeks, the shoot appears above the ground and begins to root into the soil. After a further four weeks, the bean plants are 60 centimetres high and they begin to flower. Bees and insects pollinate the flowers and this starts the growing process for a bean pod. The new beans begin to form inside the tough protective skin of the pod. Ninety days later, the farmer checks that the bean crops are ready for harvest. He then harvests them using this special machine. The beans are stripped from the plant and their pods and then loaded onto a lorry. They are then transported to a processing plant. The beans are unloaded and filtered to remove any dried leaves or twigs. Finally, they are put into one-ton bags like these. Now they are ready to be transported to the factory in Italy, where they will be cooked and the special tomato sauce will be added, turning them into yummy baked beans. What you've just seen then are the huge bags that come from America, full of these. The haricot beans. Imagine how many of these beans are in those bags. And then they arrive here and they go in the factory for the next stage of the process, don't they, Rosa? So we've got our outfits on, we've got our coats and our hats, and we're gonna go inside now, we've gotta wash our hands, and let's take a look at those machines in action. Sure, let's sure. go on let's in. Go. Very, very loud in here. Originally an American dish. When Europeans first arrived in America in the 1500s, native people taught them how to make a simple dish of beans, pork and molasses. The molasses they used is made through the process of refining sugarcane into sugar, forming a black sticky treacle. 
Baked beans were also a staple meal for soldiers to eat during the American Civil War in the 1860s. The first cans of baked beans were imported to the UK from the United States of America in 1886. And this was the beginning of baked beans becoming our favourite tea time meal. To this day, the best quality beans are still grown in the USA. That's why this factory in Italy uses them to make one million cans of baked beans every day. That's the same weight as three blue whales, the largest mammal ever known to have lived on planet Earth. Every morning, approximately 160 tonnes of dried haricot beans are delivered from the farms in Michigan to this factory, ready to begin the baked bean making process. First, they soften the hard dried beans in hot water. This is known as blanching. Next, they check the beans to make sure that they are all the right colour. Any that aren't, don't get into the can. They do this by using a special machine called an optical sorter, which uses an electronic eye to look at each bean to make sure it's good enough to go into the can. The source for the baked beans is made in this machine. The recipe is a secret, because this factory is very proud of the taste and doesn't want anyone to copy it. It includes tomatoes, sugar and spices. Baked beans, baked beans on a jacket potato with a coating of cheese. You can buy them in a tin any day of the week from your local supermarket on your high street, high street. Beans in the morning and beans in the night, they're really super duper when you're cooking them right. Baked beans, baked beans, baked beans. They put the beans and the sauce into cans using this machine. Baked beans aren't actually baked. In fact, they are stewed. This happens with the beans and sauce already in the can. They heat up the cans of beans and sauce to 120 degrees Celsius, killing any bacteria that might be present, and then cool them down carefully to stop the beans changing colour. Once the beans have been stewed in the sauce, taste checkers make sure that everything is OK and that the baked beans taste just as good as they should. They label and pack the cans of beans here. Now they are ready to start their journey to your local shop, ready for you to have on your toast at tea time. So now you know how baked beans are made. It's turned out that they're not baked at all. They are stewed. <laughs> um, and also they're invented in the USA. Right, we're back outside. It's much, much quieter than inside that factory. It was great inside there though, Rosa. I'm guessing you may have some questions for Rosa now after seeing all the process inside the factory. So let's go over to our schools now. Let's go over to Ben Weavis Primary School. Do you have any questions there at all, Miss Ross's class? How big can beans get? And That's a really great question, actually. Rosa, can you answer this question? How big can beans get? How big? How big? How big get beans? Depends from the variety. Generally, the, the plant is like this. Then there are small variety and larger variety. For instance, this is uh, haricot beans, beans and this is uh, butter beans. So you can see that uh, all different sizes are different sizes. Yeah. Okay. But you have to make sure that they're all the same size in the yes. beans, don't you? In the yes. can of beans, the can of beans, they have to be the same size, so they are cooked well, because if they are the same size. They're it's, all the, exactly yeah. the same. Yes, well, they really are cooked point. at the same time. Great question. Let's get another question from Ben Weavis' school. My name is Becky. Why do Hanukkah beans go from America to Italy to become baked beans? That's such a good question. So, Rosa, why do the beans come all the way from America to Italy to be made into baked beans? Yes, because uh, in America there are huge fields uh, and there is the right weather. So the best quality of 
haricot beans are grown in America. Oh, so it's, it's just that the, the weather isn't as good in the UK or in Italy as it is in America. But also in Italy, we do not have these uh, huge fields. The fields, so the fields are very, very yes. important. Very yes. important indeed. Okay, some great questions there. Let's go over to Haldell Primary School now. Do we have any questions from Miss Stone's class? How many different types of beans are there? Great, that's a really good question. How many different types of beans are there, Rosa? Hundreds. There's hundreds. There are hundreds and hundreds of variety all, all over the world. There must be probably beans that you haven't heard of or haven't <laughs> yes, seen. Some, some of the uh, typical uh, beans. Uh, here, for instance, in Italy, we have special beans that are called uh, Fagioli di Controne, beans of a small area near Salerno. A very particular beans. But, but anywhere else so in the many, world so would many. not know of those beans. So, so many types of beans out there, but a great question. Let's get one more question from Haldell School and Miss Stone's class. My name's James, and how long can you keep baked beans when they're in a can? That's a really good question, actually. How long can you keep baked beans when they're in a can? Two years. Two years? Or two years, yes. That's another reason why they're just so good, because you can have them in your cupboard ready for when you really fancy yes, baked beans, yes. don't you? <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much, children. What great questions for Rosa. You really made her think hard there. <laughs> That's great. So as we saw in the video, baked beans are an ancient food, but I'm guessing, Rosa, that the recipe has changed somewhat over the years, hasn't it? I mean, how have you perfected your recipe here? Yes, the recipe is a traditional one, but during the years we have modified it to, to make the beans more healthy. So we have reduced the sugar and salt content, for instance, to have a more healthy Oh, great. So reduce Food. sugar, yes. reduce salt, yeah. and they're a lot more healthier than they yes. used to be. Um, and you have all the ingredients here that go yes. into your baked beans. I feel like you're letting us in on a, a secret, the secret recipe. Mm -hmm. So can you talk us through some of the things you yes, put into sure. your sauce and your beans? The first ingredient, of course, is a very, very good quality haricot beans. Then tomato is the base of the sauce and herbs and spices. We have many spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, mm. paprika, black pepper, chili, garlic, cloves, juniper and onion. And then we have herbs like parsley and basil. There's so much that goes into your baked beans, yes, Rosa. But it's the right mix. That right, gives the to, right yeah. unique combination. Yeah, if you put between, too much in one. Yes between the sauce and the beans. Fantastic. Well, if the children at home really fancy making their own baked beans, yes, um, yes. do you have a, a simple, more simple recipe than yeah, all of sure. these ingredients? Sure. First of all, you have to soak the beans in cold water for at least 12 hours. Then you wash the beans and put them in a pan together with the fresh water and boil them until they are soft, well cooked. In the meantime, you can prepare the sauce. So you take tomato and you can use all the herbs and spices you have available at home in your cupboard. So you can prepare a, your personal sauce and mix with the beans when they are well cooked. In this way, you have a special recipe that you can invent. You Your can very own it. recipe, that's <laughs> fantastic. And of course, children, if you do give um, cooking baked beans a go, make sure you have an adult with you as well. Okay, so, so far we've learned about haricot beans and they're the main beans that go into baked beans, but there are lots of different varieties of beans as well. So we're gonna take a look at some different beans now. Rosa's gonna show us some, and you have some in your class as well. So take a look at the beans as Rosa's talking us through some of them. There are hundreds of varieties of beans. We have just some here to show you. We have butter beans, which are very good for salads. And we have black beans. Black beans are good for salads and soups as well. And red kidney beans for tasty 
warm soups during winter time and for salads and uh, borlotti beans that uh, you can eat in a soup or in Italy we used to prepare pasta e fagioli that is uh, mixed pasta shape with the beans oh, it's very tasty that sounds very tasty so lots of soups lots of salads yes do you have to cook beans rosa Make yes sure you, cook you beans have to cook beans them. yes why is that because uh, to uh, to uh, to um, are they a bit hot they're a bit hard <laughs> yes <laughs> to have it the, the more digestive and uh, uh, you have to cook them all, but mainly red kidney beans, because they can be poisonous. You have to cook them for at least 15 minutes before eating them. Wow, okay, so it can be po that's a really important thing to remember. So they're very, very poisonous if you do eat them without cooking them. Yes. Wow, gosh, okay, that's crazy. Could you make baked beans out of other beans? Could you give that a go, or does it have to be haricot yes. beans? Yes, of course, haricot beans is the best the best quality because the skin is very soft. But you can try with the other variety. You can, uh, can uh, experiment. Great, okay, Just well maybe. Try. So maybe the children could make their own baked beans with a different sure. type of bean, different type of sauce. And yes. It would be just exclusive, yes. wouldn't it? Their very own yes. invention. <laughs> that would be yes. great. Okay, we learned so much about beans and baked beans today. So I think we should go back to our schools now and find out what you have learned. Um, so let's go over to Moorside Primary School, first of all. Miss Cohen, could you tell us what your class has learned? Do we have someone there that can tell us? My name is Emily and I have learned that um, baked beans arrived in Britain in 1866. They are called baked beans, but they are actually stewed. That's great. So beans arrived from America in 1866. Yes, that's great. Got a long, long time ago. <laughs> OK, let's go over to Charlton Manor School now. What has Miss Pease's class learned today? My name's Katie, and today I've learned that farmers grow the bean seeds in the spring because the beans like the heat. That's really great, actually. So the farmers grow the beans in springtime because they like the heat. Yes, the seeds they, they, like need, the they need the heat. They need it, okay, grow. in America. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's go over to Ben Weaver's primary school now. What has Miss Ross's class learned? My name is Jamie. My name is Jamie. Each bean seed in a bean pod has its own hard out layer or shell when you plant a bean seed in the soil and apply water to it. The shell of the seed cracks open. Fantastic. That, that class has learned that the bean has a hard shell around it and it has everything it needs to grow inside yes. that shell. Yes. Fantastic. You really have learned a lot on today's online field trip. We've come to the end of it though, I'm afraid. Rosa, last question for you. What is the best thing about making baked beans? I'm really proud to produce a tasty and healthy food that can be enjoyed all over the world yeah. by a lot of people. You should be very proud. Yeah. Please don't stop making baked beans, Rosa, because we love them in the UK. Uh, thank you so much, children, for taking part. We really hope you've enjoyed watching and learning all about baked beans with us today. Don't forget, if you'd like to take part in a farm to fork field trip, you can do that. Everything you need is online. And you can be having lots of fun, just like the children you see here now, visiting a local farm or a local producer. But from us, Myself and Rosa in Napoli, in Naples, a big goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye, Moorside Primary School. <laughs> goodbye, Charlton Manor. <laughs> goodbye, Ben Weavis. <laughs> goodbye, Haldell Primary School. Thank you all so much for taking part. We hope you've had a lovely time. And it's ciao, ciao from Napoli. <laughs>